Hey everybody, Brian here from I Like It Spooky Horror Podcast. It's January 2024, and that means a lot of people are going to start New Year's resolutions. Spend less money, improve their mental health, lose weight, spend more time with loved ones, stop smoking, maybe learn a new skill. And the number one New Year's resolution for most people, improve their fitness. And you know what? Our New Year's resolution at the I Like It Spooky Horror Podcast is to continue bringing you great content and more free movies from Redbox. <laughs> Speaking of free movies from Redbox, I got three honorable mentions and my top three this month. So let's get to some movies. So the movies this month on Redbox all start streaming January 1st. So you can watch all those movies right now. I'll give you a synopsis for everything. First honorable mention, it's called Hostel. It's from 2017. Juliet, a lone survivor of an apocalyptic era, fights to survive against hunger, thirst, a broken leg, and strange disturbing creatures that only come out at nighttime. My second honorable mention... Stoker Hills from 2020 says follow at your own risk. Three college students filming a horror movie find themselves trapped in their own worst nightmare. Their only hope for survival is two detectives who find the camera they left behind. My third honorable mention this month from 2012, The Battery. The personalities of two former baseball players clash as they traverse the rural back roads of a post-plague New England, teeming with the undead. Not teeming, not like a baseball team. I really like this movie. This was a hard movie to put on an honorable mention because I, again, I really like this movie. I think you should check out The Battery. Now for my top three movies on the Redbox app this month. This is a Screenbox original, Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, the Robert Englund story. A classically trained actor and director, Robert Englund has become one of the most revolutionary horror icons of a generation. Throughout his career, Englund starred in many well-known movies, but shot to superstardom with his portrayal of the supernatural serial killer, Freddy Krueger. Now I'm playing with power! And the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. This unique and intimate portrait captures the man behind the glove and features interviews with England, his wife Nancy, Lynn Shea, Eli Roth, Tony Todd, Heather Langenkamp, and many more. My number two movie for this month from 2011, Hobo with a Shotgun. A homeless vigilante blows away crooked cops, pedophile Santas, and other skunk bags with his trusty pump-action shotgun. And it stars Rutger Hauer. Watch this movie. It is such a fun movie. This almost was number one. And maybe it should be. Maybe number one, once you hear it, you'll be like, why did he even put that on the list? But you know what's not questionable? How great our podcast network, the PFPN, is. So let's hear from them. You're listening to the Prescribed Films Podcast Network, home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment. The shows on this network all have a common goal, providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media. The PFPN hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy. Visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com. Thanks for listening.
So now that we've heard from our podcast network, the number one movie on the Redbox app for January 2024. <laughs> Troll 2. Troll 2 is so bad, it's good. It is so much fun. Like I said, Hobo with a Shotgun probably should have been number one, and a lot of people are going to question why I put Troll 2 on the list. But it's just such a bad movie that it's fun. Give you this synopsis. A vacationing family discovers that the entire town they're visiting is inhabited by goblins disguised as humans who plan to eat them. Watch Troll 2. If you're in a bad mood, watch Troll 2. If you're in a good mood, watch Troll 2. If you don't give a flying fuck, watch Troll 2. It's just fun. Have some fun and enjoy 2024. Don't forget to like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Keep listening for more movies. That's our New Year's resolution this year at the I Like It Spooky Horror Podcast to keep bringing you great content and having a good time. And take care. Bye-bye. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Show some fucking respect for the dead, will ya?